So here I'm going to be showing you how to create a landing page in Canva, and if you'd like to follow along with this Canva tutorial, you can click the link down below in the description of the pinned comment, or maybe just even use Canva for the first time, that link will allow you to do that as well. Let's begin. So where I'm going to be on the left side, once we're on the home dashboard, I'm going to be at templates right here. What we want to do is just simply type in landing page template, which I already have there, but I will just do it again, landing page template, and let's see, there we go, and enter. All right, so there's gonna be a boatload of templates for you to use here, and by boatload, I mean specifically or approximately 20,000. Now, some of these are going to be for the Canva Pro, which they do come with the ability to try Canva Pro for free, so that's always good. Some are going to be paid. I'm sure as you scroll through, you'll realize that some of the better ones are gonna be type of pro or paid, but it is what it is, right? You still get a good amount for what you're getting here. However, what I recommend doing is clicking on all filters right here, and upon doing so, you can really narrow down your style and even your theme if you want. For me, I love the, uh, what is it, simplistic, I think it's actually minimal is going to be my favorite here. You can check off others if you want. There's also view more and there's going to be specific themes. Like if you're doing marketing or business or sales, you could definitely do that, but choose one that's going to be fit for you. We might not use the same template, but I at least want to showcase how you can find more if needed. Okay. So let's click on apply. All right, and for me specifically, I am looking for something very simple, very clean, like something like this is fantastic, something like this, even though it's a blue background, not a whole lot going on because we can still tailor it towards our needs. Some of these look a little bit more like a blog post, so I probably wouldn't need to go deeper down there, but something like this looks good. It's pretty simple, it's clean. I'm gonna click on this and also give you a tip. If you find a specific template that you like, simply click on it like this. And what's great about Canva is that they go, okay, you like this one? Well, here's a bunch more that are just like it, okay? So this is probably the best way to do it instead of searching through a ton of them. All of these down below are gonna be more so similar to the one we just kind of clicked on. So that's a good thing, an easier way to kind of narrow them down and find the template that you want. In fact, I kind of like this one. It's even simpler. So even something like this or this, let's say I do like this one. I'm gonna click on this now. And great, I think that's gonna do, there's also gonna be a few more, probably a lot of them are gonna be similar to what we saw, but once you find the one that you wanna use, simply click on customize this template. All right, I'm just gonna change this to, we can give it a name, skip a landing page, you can call it whatever you want, but for this, there are going to be three, three or four main things. So this is gonna be one of my favorite types of landing pages. I'm gonna delete this, so if you don't wanna use an ebook or anything like that, you can click on it and do delete. This is gonna be the text section. This we don't necessarily need. And then this of course is gonna be like the button with text on it. So there's gonna be one more thing here. This is gonna be our main headline. So let's make this bigger. I'm not gonna to focus too much on the aesthetics overall, like you know the text color and what the text is, but this would be kind of centered at the top. We're gonna have a little bit more under it. In fact, I don't like that little box around it. So what we can do is just add more. Let's go to Text, let's just do a subheading right here. This will go right here. Okay, and like I said, we can change around the font. I'm gonna delete this, so just click on it and delete. And this right here too, and this one too. There we go. And if you wanna drag and drop the text and the button, you can just highlight everything. This will go right here. So there's gonna be one more aspect of this, and this is a big reason why I like these types of landing pages is because they're very easy to do and create when you have a video. So given the fact this will be using a video, we're gonna click on apps right here. What we wanna do is simply type in YouTube and enter. Let's click on YouTube. Now all you have to do is search for the specific keyword that you are looking for. If it's on YouTube, I'm gonna do that one moment. All right, so I have two of them there. I updated it, but nevertheless, I'm gonna click on one right here, the one I wanna use. You're gonna do the same thing if you have a video as well. And great, that's how you can actually embed a YouTube video as well. In case you were curious about how to do that, you get two tutorials in one, okay? So this ideally is gonna go in the middle. We can make it a little bit smaller, a little bit bigger, depending on how big this ends up being. So what I like about this so much is that it's ease of use in the template. So this is going to be a big headline. And the idea here is what should I put here that's gonna allow the viewer to click on the video and watch it? Ideally, if you're sending an email to this landing page, it's gonna be a little easier to do because emails can pre-sell, but give me a moment and I'm gonna come up with a good headline here. All right, so we have how to create YouTube videos without ever getting in front of the camera. So this is a headline formula that I'm just gonna talk about very quickly. It's how to yay without boo. 
So if you have something on your landing page, your audience wants to do something specifically. So they want to create YouTube videos. They want to create a YouTube channel. They want to, you know, be popular, get subscribers, sales leads, all that fun stuff. This is something they don't want to do right here without. So they want to do this. And then what is something that they really don't want to do? I'll give you an example when it comes to fitness and weight loss. I used to be a personal trainer, so it's very easy for me. How to lose weight without living in the gym. How to lose weight without counting calories. You know, things like that. It's the big goal that someone wants to do in your specific niche, and it's the without big thing they don't want to do. Okay, so the more creative you can be with this, ultimately the better it's going to be. Because if someone says, okay, I want to create YouTube videos, and you said like without ever creating a video yourself, you'd be like, all right, how is that done, okay? The more curiosity behind it, the better it's going to be. So this is like gonna be the main thing that you focus on, assuming you have a video and it actually talks about that main hook, okay? So it's kind of like you're getting into the copywriting game here, and that's a good thing because when you come up with better hooks, more people are gonna click on your stuff, purchase, lead sales, all that fun stuff, okay? So the video is gonna do the heavy lifting, and down below this can be try pictory free today. Okay. And since this is going to be a button or a link, what I can do is double click on that. And let's say this is just going to go to HTTPS. Okay. I'm just going to do pictory.ai. That's going to be where it goes. Looks good and done. And I kid you not, we're just about done with the landing page. That's going to be the simplicity of it. And there's a few more things I do want to talk about. So if you did want to change the font, I'm just going to go right here. You can click on it. Let's say it was going to be what's a popular one. Sure. I'm just going to make a matching at least canvas sands. This one doesn't need to be bold. This one could probably be bold since it is a headline. There we go. Looks a little bit better. And you know, if you wanted to change the color of this too as well, like that's black. Maybe you want to do something a little bit. That's too hard to see. Uh, I want it to pop a little bit more. Like I said, aesthetic stuff. This is how you can change a lot of that. That doesn't look too bad. Let's actually preview what it looks like. Okay, so let's click on preview right here. All right, so how to create YouTube videos without ever getting in front of the camera. This is gonna be this specific video and this is gonna be where you can try Pictory for free. So ideally, this is like taking a sales letter and condensing it down to one really simple landing page where the video is gonna do the heavy lifting. It might be a little bit different for you. Like if you didn't have a video, you could have say a video script or a blog post that you turned into it and you could use that as it where you add some pictures in and so on and so forth. It's really gonna be up to you, but this is going to be the process for creating it that way. Let's click on close. And last but not least, if you do wanna publish it so that you can do it, you wanna click on publish website right here. And right here for the site address, I am going to change that around. Let's just do like Pictory if that's not taken. Let's try it. Great. And what I can do here is just simply click on publish. All right, congratulations, it has been published. And it's nice because it showcases what it looks like on both here website. Could probably move this down a little bit more, but that's like a, a very minor thing. Let's click on view website. All right, and another thing that's beautiful about this, you're gonna see that everything is above the fold. When they arrive on your landing page, everything is gonna be in front of them, and you're also gonna notice that there's no other distractions. We have our main headline right here, and then underneath that, we have our subheadline. It's gonna be the video, and pretty much there's three things they can do. They can click on the video and watch it, which you want them to do. They can click on the link right here and go to the website, which you want them to do, or they can back out and leave. There's no drop down menu here. There's no advertisements. There's no pop ups. There's no navigation menu, no little hamburger thing. There's just no other distractions. And that's the power of a landing page is because it allows you to focus on that one goal that you want to set. In this one, it's getting someone to take an action. This could go to a website, could be an affiliate link, could be a webinar, could be a coaching call. It could be, you know, something, a special deal. It could be whatever it's going to be. Just make sure you know what your main goal is. And when you create a landing page like this, it's optimized to be as simple as possible and get people to take that action instead of being distracted by, oh, look, a piece of candy over here, a piece of candy here. Oh, look, this great news this came in, this advertisement, this and that. 
plain, simple, one main goal, one focus. That's what it really allows you to convert the most. Of course, what you have in your video is going to matter. If you do a video review and it's just like, this is the greatest thing ever, have a nice day, probably not gonna convert too well, okay? But that's a completely different video. Anyway, that's gonna conclude this tutorial about how you can create a landing page on Canva. I do wanna show you one that I created on my website just to kind of showcase Pretty much you can do this anywhere. I always like showing examples off platforms, but let me show you it right here. This is gonna be one on my website and just to kind of showcase that, like it's gonna be the same thing. It might look a little bit more spiffier because I have like the blue in the background and the frames, but we have the same headline, subheadline, video, and right down just a little bit more that I added in with a coupon and being able to start and just some privacy and logo stuff. So ideally you can do this type of landing page anywhere. Obviously I'm showcasing how to do it on Canva. But I just ultimately hope that it gives you some inspiration on keeping things simple and getting up and running as quickly as possible because uh, you want to make decisions quickly when it comes to business and landing pages. The more you think about it, the more you lose out on getting results. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.